Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to edit WooCommerce card page with Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, you have to log in into your WordPress account, and after that, first of all, we have to go inside the pages, and I will simply click on the all pages here. And as we want to edit the card page with Elementor, so I simply click on the edit with Elementor, and we also have to install the plugin here. So in the plugin, I will simply click on the add new plugin. So let's just write down the co-designer here, that plugin that we will be using. So we will be using the co-designer plugin to customize our card page. Okay. So the co-designer plugin was formerly known as Full Manager. Okay. As you can see here. All right. So let's click on the stall and we just have to go back to the card page here. And as you can see the card page that we got with our template uh, in the Elementor. Alright, so let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and click on the activate. And from here, as you can see that our code designer plugin is activated. Okay, and you can also see it here. So let's go inside the code designer. And if we go back to our card page with the Elementor, and if I try to edit something from here, you will be able to see that I can't actually customize this page uh, from here because we are simply using the short code here. Okay, so how can we edit this or customize this? We can simply do it with the help of Code Designer. And in the Code Designer, as you can see that we have a lot of the different elements, but we will only be using the card page elements. So as you can see that we have the shop elements, we have the filter elements, we have the single product element, and we have the other elements, price table related products, and we have the image gallery and checkout and the email, and we also have the card here. So I just simply enable uh, these three items from here, I would enable the card items and I would enable the card overview and I will also enable the copy form from here. That's it. So let's we'll just click on the save settings. And if I just go back to my card page with the elementary editor and try to refresh the page from here. And as you can see that we have our card here. So let's just search for the element that we have enabled here. Okay. Okay, so let me just close this and okay, so as you can see here, we have the code designer card. So I will just simply use these three elements to customize our card here. Okay, so let's remove this element from here. Okay, and let's just click on the add section and in the section, I will simply go with the single column section here. Okay, so let's just drop the card items into our section. Okay, so in the card items, as you can see here, we have thumbnail, we have the product, we have the price, quantity, and the subtotal. And after that, we have the apply coupon. If we have the coupon, we can simply apply it from here. And we also have the update card button and proceed to check out button. And you can also hide any of these elements from here in the columns. As you can see that we have the thumbnails, products, category, price, quantity, subtotal, and we have the remove button and we also have the bottom section and the empty card notice that we will also explore. So if you want to hide the thumbnail, you will just simply click here and you can see that we simply hide our thumbnail here. So if you want to enable this, you simply click here. So if you want to change the heading, you can change the heading from here. So I just simply write down here image. So now you can see that we have changed the heading of our thumbnail and we also have the on click functionality for our image. So if you want to change the on click functionality uh, from none to zoom or the product page, you can simply change the functionality on the on click here. So I simply go with the uh, product page here and we also have the product. So if you want to disable this, you simply click here. And if you want to enable this, you just simply click on the enable again. And you can change the heading from here and you can also hide the category if you want to. So right now, I don't want to show the category here. So I just simply disable this and you won't be able to see the category of the product here. And we have the price. So we can change the visibility of the price as well. And we have the quantity and we have the subtotal and the remove button. So if you want to disable this remove button, you simply click on the hide here and you won't be able to see the remove button here. Okay. So let's just close this and we also have the bottom sections and in the bottom section we have the copin area we have the update button and we have the proceed to checkout button so you can also show and hide any of these options if you want to okay so i'll just simply disable this copin area from here and i will keep the other values here of the update button and the proceed to checkout and if you have the empty card you will have the notice here so 
you can see the options here so if you have the empty card notice you can select the content source here so in the content source we have the three different values we have the show nothing we have the static text and we have the template but right now i just simply go with the show nothing here all right and i would like to enable the copying area again okay so let's just go back and we also have the card overview and the copying form all right so one more thing okay so if you want to change the styling of our card items we can simply do it in the styles so in the styles we have the table and as you can see that we have the table heading product image uh, product title product category and you can also explore the other options here so if you want to change the styling of any of these things you can simply do it from here so right now as you can see that we have this table uh, so if you want to change the color of the table you can simply do it from here and you can also add the image if you want to so let's just go with any color here and you will be able to see the change in the color here I know the color is looking terrible so just for the demo purpose I have given it a color so let's just reset the value here and you can add the image you can change the value of the border here so if you want to add the solid border uh, you can simply do it from here you have to give the value of the width here you can see that we have this uh, border on our card items if you don't want to give the border tab you simply click on the default value which is none and you also have the box shadow here so you can play around these values here so we have the card heading so if you want to change the color of the card if you want to change the typography of the heading here you can simply do it from here so we have this primary text we have the secondary text and ascent and if you want to change the styling of the text of our heading you can simply do it from here you can change the font family from here so you can explore these options okay so we have the product image as you can see that in the product image you can change the width height and we also have the border type and you can also add the box if you want to all right so if you want to increase the opacity you can simply do it from here okay now you can see that uh, we have this opacity value to 0 0.25 so right now i just keep this value to the default value all right so we have the product title so you can change the color and typography of the product title from here so we have the product category we have the product prices so you can explore these options from here and if you want to customize any of these options you can simply do it from here and if you want to change the color of these buttons you can simply click on the copen button and from here you can change the color of the button here and in the similar way you can change the color of the update card button okay so if i just click on the background color here you will be able to see the change in color of our background all right so let's go to the default value and in the similar way you can change the checkout button color and you can also play with the other properties here all right so let's go back and now i will simply add the new section here with the two column structure all right so in this structure i will simply add the card overview so let's just drop this on our second section and now you can see that we have our card overview here so in the card overview we have the show and hide heading so if you want to hide the heading you can simply do it from here and if you want to change the text of the heading you can simply do it from here and you can also change the heading element from here so we also have the proceed button here so if you want to hide this you can simply do it from here and if you want to change the styling of card overview you can see these options here so you can change the style of the section title table table content and the proceed button okay so let's go back and now in the last i would actually like to add the copin form here okay so i would simply like to add this above the card overview all right so as you can see that in the copin form we have the placeholder text which is a copin code so you can write down anything here if you want to and we also have the button text so you can change the button text from here and we also have the alignment and you can see that if we want to change the styling of this a copin form we can also do it so if we just go inside the style and I can see that we have the input field so you can style the input field from here so we have the text color background color typography and we have the border type we have the box shadow padding and the margin and in the last we can also style the apply button here so as you can see that we have the different color of our apply button and the proceed to checkout button so let's give the same color to our apply button so how can we do this let's just click on the apply button here and we have to click on the custom here and now you can see that in the global colors we have these colors of the theme color so let's click on the theme color 2 here and 
I think I have to give a darker color here. Okay, so that would be the theme color one. Okay, so this would work fine. Okay, so now you can see that we have the kind of same color of our apply button and proceed to checkout button. So this is how you can do the customization here and the copy form as well. Alright, so now let's click on the update here. And let's just go back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, I will simply go inside the pages. So in the pages, let's just have a look at our card page here. So let's click on the view. And now you will be able to see the different card page in our WooCommerce website. So now you can see that this is how you can edit or customize our WooCommerce card page with the help of Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.